had a brand new heifer calf this morning. <laughs> it's nice and warm out, so I'm gonna let the cows out. So it's up to her if she wants out, I guess. Okay. All right, Polly, come on, up, up, up. Oh yeah, the kids named her heifer calf Dottie. Your baby will be here when you get back. <laughs> Hi, Daddy. Hi. Yes. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Trinity Dairy. Don't forget to like and share the video. Subscribe to the channel. Check out our merch store. We'll have a link in the description for that. Today is March or April. What is it? Third? Fourth? Oh, gosh. Don't ask me. It must be the third. Today. April 3rd. 2023 we're actually starting to get some spring but sounds like there's a big storm coming again so hopefully we don't get hit too hard with that but um apologize for not having a video out for a while we've had some stuff going on i picked up a little extra off the farm job driving school bus and then my grandpa's health has been kind of poor again so we've been having some stuff with that so just kind of videos got put on the back burner a little bit and and there hasn't really been much going on either so but today what we're doing we're running down to pick up our seed corn so we'll take you along for that and show you where we get that from which is a new place yeah we get the, we used to get it from john rumhill down here but he sold that business uh to some to some new people so this will be the first time that i've met him so destination very important stop yep hey everybody welcome back it's a couple days later now i got the our seed corn and spray in the trailer i'll show you that quick we're kind of in the middle of this blizzard a couple day blizzard here it's pretty warm it's in the low 30s it's supposed to be it's wednesday today and i think by sunday it's supposed to be in the 60s so uh but you can see out there by the tamarack swamp the wind is switching now yesterday the wind was blowing out of the northeast and now it's switching around coming out of the southwest so it's gonna kind of sock us in from both ways i don't know how much we haven't really gotten much snow out of it it was actually more raining this morning it was a little bit sketchy on the bus route this morning but we made it okay so that was good um, so I'll show you our seed and stuff. I still got it in the trailer. I just covered the pallet with some plastic. I figured it's as good a place as any for right now. Have it in there. But I'm going to take the skid steer and uh, move a little bit of snow here. This uh, one driveway of ours always drifts in. So, uh, and I've been able to drive through it, but it's pretty deep. That's with four-wheel drive. So I'm going to take the skid steer and run through there and uh get that plowed out i was gonna let the cows out but that wind is going crazy again so we'll uh, get opened up what we can and you can kind of see there's a big drift that drift is probably four feet deep and i think that um goes pretty much all the way out to the bale feeders so i don't know if i can get hay out there anyway i don't know that i can blow this snow with the blower because it's 
being this warm and it's just supposed to keep getting warmer it's gonna plug up on me but uh anyway i'll show you the seed and then we'll get the skid steer fired up see if i can bust through that driveway a little bit and uh we'll see what else we get into so here's our seed here this is greenfield genetic um it's same seed i've used for a long time i think the company kind of changed names or changed hands a little bit but i've had really good luck with this corn especially when it gets real dry in the summer we're pretty sandy here um there's the number of it it's an 86 day maturity and uh yeah we've had really good luck with this seed so kind of if it ain't broke don't fix it um it is a roundup ready corn that's um i don't know we've had really good luck with that i know it's a lot more expensive for the seed than conventional corn but uh, around here our summers can be so cold your 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 weeds keep growing and the corn just stays there and the cultivating is kind of a never-ending battle and then you get you know you get on the hills and stuff with the sand get a lot of erosion and stuff when you're cultivating it constantly so the spray spray just works works better for us um and this is what i've been using the last few years is uh halex gt it's kind of expensive but it has a good residual weed control for the weeds that come in later so you don't have to spray it twice or uh, mix up a bunch of other different stuff which winds up being expensive anyway so that's that's kind of what we use there it's probably going to be a little while yet before we're putting that seed in the ground but i got it anyway so that's part of the battle so i'm going to go get the skid steer fired up and uh we'll see if we can get that driveway open you can see our driveway down here in front of the barn is turning into kind of a muddy mess also but that's kind of how they how the farmyards get in the spring and of course we got all the snow melt from the hillside here it all runs down through there so that kind of keeps it keeps it muddy for a while but that's the way that goes but it sounds like if it gets up in the 60s we'll be playing in some mud when it starts melting over a week I'm not sure how well you can see it but with the drifts that are there a lot of the road is actually just single lane and you're kind of weaving through the snow dress so Alan made a call today that we really got to get the grader down here and get this road open back up again we got freezing rain overnight and this morning so this is all the stuff that was like dripping off the tree branches and stuff you could hear the branches breaking and and uh, cracking in the wind. Yeah.
So way out there is the snowmobile that Jessica and I took to go check taps and we buried it. So now we are walking back, but we do have a nice view of the river. And some friends swimming in it who came back from the south. snowshoes we keep falling through okay so here's our little setup tried to go as cheap as possible this year see how it works and go from there so I just just put the sap on there so fingers crossed here we go we're boiling now a neighbor of ours does a lot of maple trees, though he said that with the weather change that's going to be happening here now this weekend, that this might be it for our maple syrup season. It went from being just too cold to now it might get to be too hot. It's 11.30 at night, and this is what we got. I'm not sure if it should have been cooked down a little bit more or if it's okay. It tastes amazing. But that's pretty awesome.